Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Swing on a Swing with Fire. We're waving hello. It's like the Dark Souls. Anyways, hey, yeah, welcome back to the Metal Gear Recollection. I believe this is going to be part seven. And uh, we cut there because some shit's about to go down up here. Some In shit. In this beautifully lit place with a, uh, with a texture that's not at all a 3D image uh, <laughs> behind the thing right up there. So, you know, shut up. Shut up. Actually, I love I love the old um, uh, 2D. Uh, um, uh, I forget what it's called, but like the 2D video games back in the day, and not the ones that are 2D, but the 3D games that take place on 2D um, boards, like the old Resident Evil games and some parts of the uh, the some of the Final Fantasy games and stuff like that. Mm. Those are amazing. I love those old games. Part of the reason I'm so happy they're doing all these re-releases and HD remasters of the Resident Evil games on uh, the current generation, which I'm buying for the Xbox One. So, by the way, this is the pain. He shoots bees at you like a dude from fucking Ninja Scroll. I, I apologize for the vast majority of uh, Nicolas Cage jokes we're going to be making here in the future. Um, yes. And I was thinking about these guys, because the way the boss describes these guys is the reason they have names like the pain and everything is because it is an emotion that these guys carry into battle. And what did I think about that? I'm like, are they are they trying to bring, like in this case, is this guy trying to bring pain onto other people? What's his deal, right? And um, when I thought about it, and knowing what I know about these guys, um, I don't think when I say that, they that they bring in an emotion in the battle that's not the emotion they're conveying i think that's the the emotion that describes them as people so this guy when he takes off his face mask a little bit later and it's not really a spoiler because he's kind of a one-off character and you're never going to see him again his face is covered in horrifying fucking hornet bee scars and shit and that looks fucking painful. <laughs> you know what I think? I think it's the, the emotion that they bring onto the battlefield. Well, that it that is, but I think it's the emotion that personifies them more than it is the emotion um, that they they portray onto other people. And my case in point, my explanation of this is the fear, right? Um, which is going to be the next boss battle. I, like I said, I don't think it's really much of a spoiler alert. Here I am. i got to grab my stuff while I'm in here. And this game's like, what, eight, 11 years old? Yeah, it's 11 years old. So so we fight a guy called the Fear next, and he uses... He, he turns invisible, and I'm not going to explain how he does it or anything like that as I frantically shoot at this guy because I'm not worried mm. about getting his uh, uh, items. Mm. Um, but the fear turns invisible, hides in trees, and, uh, he turns invisible, he hides in trees, and he uses a poison-tipped crossbow so that he can avoid combat directly, right? And I'm sitting there thinking, well, that would be terrifying to, you know, be dealing with somebody who you can't fucking see, who's shooting you and poisoning all your friends to death and shit. Yeah, that would be fucking terrifying. How yes. However, thinking about it, I'm like, well, he's fucking hiding the whole time. And I think he's hiding because he's actually afraid. Hmm. So when it says he's carrying an emotion into battle, I think that what that means is these guys are carrying... The, these guys are whatever emotion they say they are. Wait, are you killing this guy? Yeah, I'm killing him. And I've already... Wow, I've already got him down to half health. Jesus Christ. Don't you want his camouflage? No, I do not want his camouflage. Um, when you... When you... Uh, non-lethally tranquil or um, pacify bosses in this game you get special uh, camouflage for it and this guy's all it does is allow you to control hornets and when I say control hornets it, I never used it I don't know exactly what it does so I'm not really too concerned with it there are certain ones that I will go for for instance the ends camouflage because that's actually a fantastic camouflage and its special ability is fantastic as well. We need to get underwater because he just launched bees from his mouth. Homing bees! Let me say that again. He just launched bees from his mouth. They are called bullet bees, and if we talk to Major Zero, uh, he could... And while he's underwater... Tell us something about it. Yeah, it's cool. I can hold my breath. This is Xanarkand. 
Oh, Jesus. Let's see. I know she'll describe the bullet bees if one of them gets stuck in me. But basically, they're bees that act like bullets. God damn it. Um, that then burrow into you and shit. Oh my yep. lord, what was that? That was my mouth. Yo. <laughs> you know what I should try here? What should you try? While I'm under the water, let me equip, uh, let me equip a, uh, very special device here. Bug juice. Oh. You know, I think I may have tried bug juice, like, once or twice. Oh, shit! He got me with a grenade, I think. I think I may have tried bug juice once or twice in this, uh, scenario, but, uh... Yes! Let's get away from that. Oh. Oh. Here, let's really quickly. There we go. Bug juice. So now I think even if he throws bullet bees at me... Actually, the bullet bees will just get me because one of them just hit me. Yeah, I was going to say... You just got hit. So now let's let's see if I can get the bullet bees call. Where they're like, there's fucking bees in your eyes. <laughs> ah, not the bees. Oh, God. The they're bees. everywhere. Oh, God. Bullet bees are digging into your body, which sounds brutal and painful. Very painful indeed. You know, the, the proportion isn't the right size and it's not the right species. But whenever I think of bullet bees and the fact that... Uh, 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 Kojima is Japanese. I think about those giant hornets. Japanese hornets? Those Japanese hornets that are two inches long and just look like like death pain. Death oh, pain shit. on wings. Whoops. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the, nothing's as bad as the tarantula hawk, which if you've ever seen a tarantula hawk, you'll leave California forever. Oh, wait. Yes. I have to get the, the bullet bees out of me. Sorry for the constant interruptions, guys. Good God, man. Bandage, styptic, disinfectant. Oh, I gotta treat it just like a bullet wound. So this guy, as you can see, as long as you know what you're doing is painfully easy. He shoots bees at you. He has a Tommy gun he'll shoot at you later on, but uh, we're never gonna have to deal with that. Um, and he covers himself in bee armor, and he does a bunch of stuff that we are not gonna have to deal with here because he's already dead. But um, on harder difficulties where you do less damage to him and you have to deal with him less, it's a fantastic boss fight. All the boss fights in this game are fantastic. One of two of which, I should say, uh, stand out way far beyond the other ones, and I'll point those out when we get to them. But they're all great boss fights against these, uh, these, these, these awesome, you know, crazy characters that explode in words when they go off. They go the pain. The pain. And all the bees are dead. Yes. We have killed the pain. Somebody's going to be pissed off about that. He's kind of supposed to be a bad mofo. Right? Are you clicking? Oh, my Lord. Wow. <laughs> I was waiting for that to build up. That's Dude, why it was so quiet. You're a bad man. We're recording. <laughs> Someone on the Internet's going to have to listen to that now. They're going to have to listen oh. to blah, 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 blah. There we I go. hope they're a, a really good. You have a really good sense of humor. So, remember when I said we're gonna go fishing? Yes. Have you ever been to the south? Yes, I'm from the south. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! That's my kind of fishing. Yeah. Wow. That's how we do it in Alabama when we're not fucking our sisters and cousins. Whoa. Yeah. I'm gonna catch some shit for that one. Doesn't that happen in like West California or East California? There's some the rednecky. Mountains? There's some rednecky parts of Northern California where that where that may or may not be a thing. I have not experienced it. <laughs> However, <laughs> the stereotype is the South. Yeah, normally it's the South. Wow, I do not have any silencers for that thing. Bitch. So now all I have that silenced is this damn thing, which is kind of annoying, but whatever. I'm going to be able to pick up some silencers up in the urban areas that are coming up here. We actually come up on some pretty good areas here soon. We also run urban. into some crazy Russian tech that um, seems science exist. fiction as fuck. No, it exists. They made these things. They didn't work very well. People died. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike most Russian things. People fucking died. Very well. <laughs> That's kind of cool. That's kind of funny. <laughs> ah, delicious water. Oh no, there's a poisonous snake down there. 
And there's fruit too. Let's kick that snake in the snake dick. Snake dick. Teach it. Ever seen the snake's dick? Teach it a lesson. Okay, so up here is remember you were saying, oh, there's no such thing as mines. The mines aren't in this game. Yeah, mines this, aren't a thing. This is where you got. This is where you got fucked up by mines in the last one. Yes. It's right over here in this sexy little cave here, and you can see them. I mean. Probably not with the way I have the video setting set up right now, but there we go. There were two claymores right there. And a refill on the ammunition I used during the boss fight. Mm. And we can move on here. Mm. Oh, by the way, <laughs> I discovered when I was testing this to see if it was feasible enough to do a very fast LP of it. Um, I need to eat some food here in order to grab that stuff. Yes. Um, when I was testing this in order to do, to see how feasible it was to do a quicker LP of it, I discovered a new hilarious bit of dialogue I've never heard before, and you, mm, excuse me, probably never heard before, mm. and uh, we're both going to get a good giggle out of it. We're going to, really? we're, oh yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> this, whole, this, yeah, trust, just trust me, like, I don't want to say too much, because you're immediately going to figure out what's going on with it, but, uh. um, now that we're here, I want to point out this little mangrove forest here is why I wanted the crocodile cap. Now, let's see. Let's give... What do I have equipped right now? Mark 22 Hush Puppy. Fuck it. I want some flavor text from Sigint. Let's talk to Sigint and see what he has to say. Oh, yeah. He's talking about the flying platforms. I was thinking he was going to talk about the operator, which is uh, Snake's 45 caliber pistol. Um, yeah, which is like a 10 minute conversation of Snake just porning out about it. <laughs> pretty much the same way I do when I see guns. Yeah, yeah, it's it pretty much turns into a Facebook post. Yes. <laughs> Good. So yeah, he's talk he's talking about it right now, and he's right. Yeah, that like seriously. They got their hands on the American design plans. I wouldn't be surprised if America tried building some of this dumb shit. Contra rotating rotors to generate lift. But those Soviet models seem to be using jet engines. They are standing on the jet engines. Hey, you know what I think is safe? Standing on a jet, jet engine. I put my face super close to the mic to emphasize that and blew out the audio stupid hard. Sorry, guys. I just yes! I just wanted to point out jet engines. <laughs> so basically, these guys, if you shoot them down, it's an automatic uh, caution mode. Um... And they die. Like, huh? So if you're like, doing, huh? what was that noise? If you're doing a non-lethal, uh, if you're trying to do a non-lethal playthrough, you have to get by these guys through another means. And uh, we happen to have that other means, which is yes. this thing we picked up. Yes. Um, which some people might have been looking at me like, "What the fuck? What? Why? Why? <laughs> Stop that! It's a professional podcast <laughs> video." <laughs> Podcast? Asshole. <laughs> okay, Podcast. Okay, I'm turning M37. I don't need the M37 right now, so we won't nope. equip that. You should use it, though. Um, I will use it. There are some specific places I will use it later, uh, specifically a boss fight later on. But let's equip this thing. <laughs> Fucking, <laughs> yeah. Make it talk. Uh... That isn't... I'll talk a little bit. But uh, here's the dialogue that I was telling you about. I hope I get it. Oh, yeah, Snake, what in God's name? How does it look? It looks cool. And Paramedic is like, yeah, you look like a fucking movie monster. Yeah. This is stupid. And Snake, even Snake's like, yeah, this is fucking stupid. So Paramedic, shut your fucking goddamn mouth. Thank you. <laughs> Did you ask what the hell I was thinking? Oh, Jesus. Talking about the fucking alligator people. I'm in a war zone! You want to talk about alligator people? She's talking about alligator people. This is this is the thing that's happening. She's talking about goddamn fucking alligator people up in here. Talking about this dumb shit. This dumb chick from the Bronx just doing... Spending all the time getting a PhD and going to movies and shit. Hey, isn't that the premise of uh, the Amazing Spider-Man? 
crocodile. The whole thing about them being able to grow their uh, grow their hand and he becomes a crocodile. I never watched that movie. I assume they were shit. I never watched that movie. I assume they were shit. Anyways. You said that twice. I did say that twice. The first time when I said shit, I meant shit. I pressed the wrong button. The second time I said it, I meant shit. Shit. <laughs> Shitty shit, 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 shit. Okay, so I am going to equip the water camouflage. Water? And I'm going to show you a very cool thing here. Because that's a crocodile cap. And those guys have searchlights down there. So when they look under the water, what are they going to see? They're going to see this un unassuming crocodile swimming through the water. Uh, little bunny foo foo going through the forest. But yeah, look at this. Just completely slip under their uh, surveillance here. And I'm going to... I'm going to take some health damage here because I'm going to try to stay under as long as possible. But, uh, Ooh, that's go. going down fast. Yeah, you get it fast. Oh, he's right above me. Did you see that? Oh, I did. Oh, fuck I yeah. I did. I was underneath him so he couldn't see me. That's fucking magical. Okay. Magical. Oh, yeah. That's super cool. Like, that. that's a, that's an L, that's a let's play moment right there. Jesus. Girl. It wasn't about that life. He wasn't about that life. Okay, so Goddamn. so over here is where we get some silencers finally. Although I don't remember what they are for specifically. You can even take out the end in one of the uh, earlier missions too. Yes, you know that. And we will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done it before. It's hilarious. But we will we will talk about that when we get to when we get to the specific section. Sweet mother. Oh man, God. can he see me? Oh man. I'm John Cena. You can't see me. Because I shot your fu Oh, fucking goddammit. Oh, you missed? Somehow. I mean, he's dead now. His friend didn't even notice. <laughs> he's like, oh, I got shot. What? Dead. So, uh -huh. I feel Bullets. like it's, it's important to point out. Obviously, these fuckers, like, I'm 15 feet away from him and he doesn't notice me. And I just blew his friend's fucking face off, and he still didn't notice me. So, in terms of gameplay, in terms of gameplay, obviously they have to tone these guys down. Hey! There you go. <laughs> <laughs> obviously, in terms of gameplay, they have to tone these guys down. Um, because if they could see you the way a normal person could see you, these games would be borderline impossible. Um, when you get to later games in the series, this becomes... Uh, I mean in terms of um, in terms of actual release when you get to games later in the series This becomes less of an issue uh, because you have more control. There we go more silencers good times uh, It becomes less of an issue because you have more control and you have more ways to exploit the environment and exploit the people you fight against Hey, look at that. It's a sniper hey. rifle. I bet that'll come in handy at some point uh -huh. Woo, Quick dive Although that wasn't the dive animation I wanted but but fuck it. Yeah, I said it. But. Deal with it. But. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. So, um, yeah, once you get to later games, like, like Metal Gear Solid V is going to be, is going to be an absolute joy to play for these, uh, for this Let's Play, for this series, this recollection, because the gameplay is just so fluid. It is the best representation of what Metal Gear Solid gameplay is could be or should be um obviously konami still owns the rights to metal gear uh the metal gear franchise even though kojima's gone so what i really hope they would do um in order to just do stupid cash cow shit is i hope that in the future instead of butchering the series and releasing new games not helmed by the guy that cre that that guided it over the course of you know decades i hope that they make re-releases using variants of the Fox engine. Because how fucking awesome would it be to play like Metal Gear Solid with the the with the 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 Metal Gear Solid V uh, gameplay system. That would be amazing. You could expand the games, you could make them better, you could make them bigger, you could make them longer, and you could do so much cool shit with it. Uh, which Konami has stated, even though they have also completely dropped out of uh uh, console game development. Um, they've also stated that they want to continue the Silent Hill and Metal Gear franchises. And she just got fucked up. And just like Kojima did by Konami. Um, 
And so I hope that they do re-releases or they do HD remasters and stuff like that. I would very, I would, I would happily throw my money at that. I don't know how happy I would be to throw my money at a game, at a Metal Gear game that is not guided by the Kojima hand. Damn you! I don't know how you feel about the subject, but did you die? Are you there, Tony? Uh oh. I think we lost Tony. Fuck, we lost Tony. I wonder where he went. Well, I guess I'm just going to have to keep the party going here. Uh, because that's, that's upsetting. So, man, this is tough now. Man, this is the, this is the issue with recording these, uh, videos over... Uh, the internet because he and I don't live anywhere near each other. We're many 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 states apart so um, uh, Showing you how the sausage is made again in order to record this. I've got one PC one laptop uh, With Skype on it pointing at the fucking TV so he can see it and I've got the other one running the recording software um, Which is is janky it's difficult it's hard to sync everything up uh, however, it seems to be working okay, except apparently we just lost the poor guy. Um, so, it seems like the video is okay. Fuck it. A little more uh, of the uh, motion actor that they hired to do the, the, uh, the gun juggling here. I like... I like that they highlight this. I like that they highlight this and show this character as a kid and showing him kind of coming into his own kind of paralleling along snake huh. Looks like your luck has um i really like that they do that um though obviously on a very different path because here's this damn kid surrounded by there's no such thing as luck on the you know combat giants i mean you've got volgan and you've got the cobra unit and you've got the boss, and you've got even Snake. You've got Snake that you're dealing with. Or not dealing with, that's probably not the right word, but even Snake he has to contend with. And he still, even though he's not directly involved with a lot of it, past his boss now. point, actually, no, that's completely wrong. Even though he's only peripherally involved in a lot of it, past his boss point, he still manages to hold his own to an extent. Which is really interesting. Oh. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then obviously you've got the boss here still doing her job and being a badass. Volgan just yucking it up. And poor Tatiana down there getting the shit shocked out of her. What? And it seems like I have lost the lost his audio. Tony may or may not be dead, gentlemen. This may be a solo endeavor from now on. Oh God, there he is! I was about I was about to sing "Danny Boy" because you died. You were gone. You did. I can hear you now. Hopefully, your audio is still recording. You had to stop your audio. Well, export the wave, and I'll deal with it. And anyway, shut up until I tell you I'm done recording. <laughs> Oh, uh, shit. But, anyways, so here we go. We have the end right here. And, um... They're very obviously pissed off about the fact that their comrade died. But, uh, holy shit, there's a man! Look, there's a man. Um, I talked about the recording setup and why you died. And then I was about to sing Danny Boy. Um... We just noticed a uh, we just noticed a gentlemanly young man uh, by the name of the Fier um, running on water because video games, actually more because anime. But basically, there's also this guy. They hype up this guy super hard. The fact that his name is the End is a big deal, because yeah. But they hype up this guy super hard. And uh, his 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 uh, boss fight does not disappoint. Uh, however, 
Uh, if you know what you're doing right here at the end of this cutscene, you can completely skip his boss fight. Because you can get a headshot on him right here and fucking kill him. Uh, which is hilarious, but it, it robs you of one of what I consider is one of the best boss fights in gaming. It, ro it robs you of that. And what they actually do is there's still kind of a boss battle there, but it's kind of like the, uh, it's kind of like the, uh, the exploded warehouse section again, where there's, there's an elite unit of X amount of guys and you have to kill all of them before you can continue on. Um, which I've done before and it was so, it was so disappointing. I'm like, man, I can't believe I shot that old man. Is that you? Oh God, look, there's a ghost. Oh God, Jesus. That is actually a ghost. Um, yeah. So here we go. There's the end of the cutscene. And here's the point where, um, if I had here, let me crouch here and equip the scope. If I equipped the sniper rifle right here, I could, um, actually shoot the end who is right there. In fact, you know what? Really quick. Just to end the episode with a literal bang, I'm going to shoot the guy that's 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 carrying him around and uh, blow everything up. And it's going to be super funny. Look at him. Look at him wheeling away. Super sad. Ha ha ha. That's funny. <laughs>